Hi, thanks so much for watching. I just want to quickly go over some of the products that I used. And um, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I will leave them all in the description box below as well with links to Wild Orchid Crafts. And the only things that I will not show you here is I use some cheesecloth. I do get asked quite often where I got it, and I found it in the kitchen section at my local grocery store. I also use some flat back pearls here and some leaves that I cut out using the same paper collection, which is the Prima Tea Time collection. And um, let me just share with you what the inside looks like quickly because I don't believe I showed that on camera yet. So it's filled with little goodies. So just to share quickly what I've used, I use some of these beautiful roses. These are MKX682. I know that's a little hard to see. Those will be in the description box, but I believe that these are 40 millimeter. I've had these in my stash a long time. Um, I use them a lot, but I, at the time I think I ordered like 10 packs of them because they're one of my favorite flowers, which you probably hear me say that a lot, but Wild Orchid Crafts have always been my absolute favorite. I used one of these beautiful light dusty pink, and they're the Mixed Pink Mulberry Wild Roses. 40 millimeters QVR025. The mixed pink tulip flowers with the leaf stems. They also sell some without the leaf stems. When I pull them off, I always save them because they are beautiful to work with. These are MKX302. One of these little carnations, MKX105. I use three of these little rosebuds. These are little, little four millimeter MKX213. Two tone baby pink heather flowers, MKX659. And I used one of these and cut it in half and used it in two different places. So I would suggest that, cut them down to be able to use them in separate pieces. Again, some of my favorite, these are the open roses, 25 millimeter. M MKX028. The green and baby pink rose leaves in the 25 millimeter MKX248. I used a little bit of the pink tulip seam binding. I love their seam binding. It's MKX482. And lastly, I used one of the little white dove embellishments, GST172. Check out the description box, all the links will be there, and thanks so much for watching.